Welcome to our 5 on 5. We're pleased to be joined by Randy Samuelson, the Executive Director of Hassel. Randy, great to see you again. How are you? It's a pleasure, Greg. Always nice to see you. You too. So tell us, what is Hassel and what community do you guys serve? Hassel is uh, what's known as the Center for Independent Living. There are seven planted strategically around the state so we can provide statewide coverage for most of our programs. Uh, we help people, seniors and folks with disabilities, stay as uh, independent as they possibly can. Mm -hmm. And we do that through a variety of methods. But we develop strategies so people don't have to go into nursing homes. They can stay in their own home, and which is ultimately what everyone wants and saves the taxpayer, you and I, a lot of money by mm -hmm. keeping folks out of nursing homes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are you guys, do you work with people who are both disabled and seniors or yes. all the above? Or? Yes. Okay. And we don't even verify for... Uh, some organizations, you'll have to bring in medical documentation that you do have a disability. We take you at your word. Lots of folks have hidden disabilities, and mm -hmm. so we'll work with anyone. We've worked with children as young as two wow. and up to any adult, any age. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, so are you guys government funded or are you guys a private nonprofit? We're Hassel is a private nonprofit, but I do get some of my base budget funding uh, from the Department of Education on the federal level mm -hmm. and then through the <clears throat> State Independent Living Council slash Office of Vocational Rehabilitation on, on a statewide level. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you got an upcoming event called Options for Success. Tell us about that. Yes, sir. The Options for Success, this is our sixth Options for Success. It's really grown. Originally started in Grants Pass at the fairgrounds, and oh. so this year we're having our six. We're very excited about it. We're actually the head administrator for the Office of Vocational Rehabilitation Services, or mm. VR as they're known. Stephanie uh, Parrish Taylor is coming down, and that's quite a coup. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times the folks in Salem don't think there's life south of Eugene. <laughs> Come on, you got to change that, right? Yeah, we're here to tell them <laughs> we're alive and well and doing wonderful things as our our resources are shrinking. Uh, Options for Success is a wonderful collaboration between private, state, federal, and independent uh, agencies and businesses. Yeah. Very nice. All right, well, we're going to talk more about options in a moment, but first, we're going to take a quick break. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Randy Samuelson, the Executive Director of Hassel, talking about next week's options for success. Uh, Randy, when is that exactly? That is the, uh, I better make sure. Yeah, it's got to uh, get these things right. Yeah. <laughs> I've only said it. The 16th and 17th uh, from 9 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon at uh, the Red Lion in mm -hmm. uh, at Medford's Hotel. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's free. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm, sometimes I'm told not to use that word, but <laughs> it is free, and it's kind of really nice. The uh, Elks Lodge from Ashland has donated money, so if veterans would like to come and can't afford the $5 lunch, you can contact us, and we'll get that set up. And uh, nice. we really are encouraging uh, veterans with disabilities to, to come and see, because there's going to be adaptive assistive technology, uh, a vendor fair, uh, uh, employers will be there. And last year we were pleasantly surprised when the employers said that they were really um, pleasantly surprised by seeing how well prepared uh, job seeking applicants were. Oh, very good. So this is a, a real combination and I'm excited about the, the big shots from Salem coming down yeah. because it shows that we in Southern Oregon are, you know, taking the uh, bull by the horns and getting mm -hmm. things set up and partnering in non-traditional ways to better serve consumers as our all our resources are shrinking. Mm -hmm. And beyond options, Hassel works with veterans on a daily basis, correct? And are you yes. encouraging more to come in? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. A lot of people think that we just serve Josephine County, mm -hmm. but we do serve Josephine and Jackson, and then we have limited service to Coos, Curry, and Douglas counties. Okay. Uh, it, it all boils down to dollars and cents, but uh, we're working to cover the entire, uh, you know, part southern end of the state to make sure that people yeah. have access to our services, which are critical. Very good. Okay, and if anybody wants more information about options or about the organization in general, where should they go? Uh, I would suggest that you call Hassel, and we're at 541 479 4275. Again, that number is 541. 
479-4275, or you could contact the local uh, Voc Rehab office and ask for Christy Hyman, and that number is 541-776-6035. Very nice. We're going to have some fantastic door prizes. Uh, Oregon Shakespearean Festival has donated uh, two tickets. Hmm. Uh, Omar's, thanks Bruce and Bear and Porter's <laughs> with Roller. They've they've sponsored they've supported us cool the stuff. whole time and yeah. it's it's really great. And those are some wonderful gifts that folks that we're working with probably wouldn't have the opportunity to take advantage of. So those three that I mentioned and much more, but those three are very popular because it's it's a nice experience to to dine at lovely restaurants and, and of course, the Shakespearean Festival, it, being a Ashland boy. Yeah. You know, it, <laughs> Can't go wrong. Yeah, yeah. Randy, great to see you. Thanks for coming. Thank appreciate you, it. Craig. Really right. appreciate it. Stay with us. We'll be right back.